Hello everyone, it's Wilson here. Today I want to talk about finding a vector that has the same direction as this given vector here and then it has length 6. So how do we do it? The idea is really simple. So the first thing is that we are going to give this vector a name so we can call this uh, vector v. Okay, and then so what we do is that we are going to find the unit vector that is pointing in the same direction as v. And so the way to do it is to simply just take v and then multiply by the reciprocal of its magnitude. So what we do is that we are going to just um, just call this u and then it would be 1 over the magnitude of v and then multiply by the v. And so this gives you a vector, gives you the vector u that is pointing in the same direction as v and it has length 1. Okay, so that's what we do here in the first step. So what we do is that we can simply just do 1 over and then the square root of, well the magnitude of this means that we are going to um, score each component and then put all that inside the square root and then add them all together, right? So we are going to get negative 2 square and then plus 4 square and then plus 2 square. And then so all that is under the square root. Yeah, so this fraction yeah, let me just reach all this. And then now what about the V? The V is simply just copying it. So negative 2, 4, 2. Okay, so now what we do is that we can do the calculation for this one here. So we are going to just get 1 over. So we have the square root 4 plus 16 and then plus 4. And then we have negative 2, 4, 2. And so this is just continue to do more calculation. This is 4 uh, plus 16 plus 4. So we get 24 inside the square root. And so we are getting the, um, the 24 inside the square root, right? And as you can see here, so square root of 24, okay? And then we can actually break it as what? We can actually break it as 4 times 6, where 4 is a perfect square. So the 4 will come out as 2, and then we still get the square root of 6. So actually, this whole fraction becomes 1 over 2 square root of 6 because the denominator is square root of 24, and then square root of 24 is equal to 2 square root of uh, 6, right? So we can actually just continue to rewrite the u. So u is equal to what? 1 over, and then 2 square root of 6. And what about this vector v here is the same thing, right? So we just keep copying it. So now we can actually distribute the scalar to each component of the vector. So we are going to just get uh, negative 1 over square root of 6. How do we get that? Because the 2 and the 2 will cancel. So we just get negative 1 over square root of 6. So that's how we get the x component. And then same thing for the second component, the 2 and the 4 will get canceled. And then you still just have the 2 here. So we are just going to get 2 over square root of 6. And then the last one, the 2 and the 2 will get canceled. So we just get 1 over square root of 6. So this is the vector that is pointing in the same direction as the v, but has length 1. So this one has length 1. Right? But then that's not the answer that we want because we want the vector that is pointing in the same direction as v but has length 6. So how do we do that? We simply just need to multiply the u by the 6 so that we can turn this vector into a vector of length 6. Yeah, so we can simply just do just multiply by 6. So we get 6 and then times u here. And so we have 6, and then the u. The u would just be negative 1 over square root of 6, 2 over square root of 6, and then 1 over square root of 6. And then multiply them together, then we are going to just get negative 6 over square root of 6, and then 6 times a 2, we get 12 over square root of 6, and then 6 times 1, we get 6 over square root of 6. And so that is our final answer. Or if you want to rationalize the denominator, then we can multiply top and the bottom by radical 6. So we can do something like this. So multiply by radical 6, the top and the bottom. 
as you can see here. Yeah, but of course, um, I'm just going to remove all of that for now. And so our final answer can actually turn into what? Um, <clears throat> Think about this, if you multiply the top and the bottom by radical six, what really happens is that if you just take six over radical six with a minus sign and then times radical six, radical six, right? And so the denominator actually becomes six and then the top is just six times radical six. And you can see that we can actually just cancel out those six right here. So our answer will just be negative radical six. So our answer will just be negative radical six. Okay, and then what about the other one? The other one, there was, this is a 12, right? So we actually get two radical six. And then this is the same thing as that one, except that it's positive. So we just get radical six. So this one is the more simplified answer than that one. But either one is, it's the same answer. They're actually equivalent. Okay, so that's the answer for this problem. Okay, so thank you for watching. I will see you next time.